Hey guys, I am back in the shop. I am still working on my daughter's loft bed. Last time I left you, I had assembled the sides, front and back frame of the entire loft. Now I'm going to work on the desk and the shelves and put the ladder on and then we'll be done. So right now I'm cutting the cross pieces that are going to go on the front of the shelf plywood and the front of the desk plywood and these pieces will trim it out nice so you don't see that ugly plywood side but it's also going to add support to the middle support pieces of the legs. So I've got my cross supports cut and they have the pocket holes drilled in them. And I'm just going to go and add one right here for the desk and I'm going to add three right here for the shelves. And I'm attaching them with two and a half inch pocket hole screws and wood glue. So we just found out that our school district is doing online learning for the first six weeks of school. So uh, it's perfect timing because this loft room has a desk and so I'm going to turn my daughter's room into kind of a homeschool room and a bedroom so that it's fun for her and exciting. So stay tuned, because I'm gonna show you everything that we're gonna do for the room. Okay, so I've got all the long cross pieces done, and now I'm gonna go back and add the short pieces across all of these. And I'm gonna attach them the same way with two and a half inch pocket hole screws and wood glue. Your pocket holes will face inside on these pieces. Just use wood filler after you're finished building to cover them. I'm using my Craig face clamps to hold the pieces in place as I attach them. All right, two down, 11 more to go. I'm attaching the rest of the side pieces the same way with pocket holes facing down. Make sure to attach the side pieces the exact height of the front and back trim so that the plywood sits flush with the trim all the way around. Now I'm moving on to the shelf side of the loft bed, attaching them the exact same way that I did on the desk. Make sure that those bottom pieces, the pocket holes are facing in. And right here, I'm using my mallet for a tight fit. I waited to rip my plywood until I had the trim pieces in so I could get an exact fit for each plywood sheet. It helps if you take a note of this when you're taking measurements. So I've got all the plywood pieces cut for the desk and the shelves and I drilled three quarter inch pocket holes around the edges and I'm sliding them into the frames and attaching them with one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws. and using my mallet again for a tight fit. starting right now with the ladder and the ladder is just two by fours that I've ripped to three inches wide and at the top you can see I cut a 30 degree angle from the halfway mark down on the top of both laps. I'm going to lay those to where those corners are those miter corners are facing up and then I've also cut six of the rungs that are 14 inches wide and I drilled one and a half inch pocket holes on each end. So I'm going to refer to my plans to see how far I need to space them. And I'm gonna attach them to the ladder legs with 
two and a half inch pocket hole screws and wood glue. Okay, so I'm gonna mark where I need to place the rungs and that's gonna be from the bottom up. So the first one is at four and a half inches. You don't have to remember this because I am linking the three plans in the description box below. And I'm marking it on both ladder legs to make sure the rungs are completely straight. Everything's marked and now I'm just gonna attach them. And I'm doing pocket holes facing down obviously so you can't see them once the ladder's up on the bed. And I'm thinking before I attach the ladder to the bed, I need to paint it. The ladder is done. Make sure my rungs are straight. All right, so I am going to take this guy upstairs, put, put it up next to the loft bed to make sure it fits, and then I guess I'm gonna start painting. All right, so I have the ladder up here and I decided I'm gonna go ahead and attach the ladder to a loft bed before I paint it because it wasn't gonna make a big difference either way. So I'm using three inch wood screws and I'm going to attach them from the inside of the front legs and into the ladder legs and I'm gonna go all the way up. And these boards are a little bit wonky because I used scrap boards because I ran out of lumber. So I'm hoping that the three inch screws will pull it nice and snug with the clamps. So you can see right here, I've got the inside of the ladder. This is the inside of the desk. They're flush and I'm just going along the back side, going along the inside edge and putting three inch wood screws and I'll go all the way up. Using my clamp, wherever I see it's not flush, it needs to be pulled tighter. Moving on up. So you can see right here, the ladder's trying to pull away, but I'm gonna be able to use my clamp to pull it tight while I use the screws to attach it. All right, so I've got the ladder installed. Now I'm going to sand everything down fill in all of my pocket holes that I can see, paint it, and I'll be done. I couldn't be happier with the way this bed turned out. It's the perfect combination of form and function. I got a desk, a full set of shelves, and a full-size bed, all for a great price. Now it's time to tackle remote learning. Make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss the next video.